What up, what up? This your boy LZ Stunner, a.k.a. Lil Zane. Shout out to the Hype Magazine, Shea Star. You know, I love you, baby. Get ready for that life I live. Pound L.I.L. on the way, baby. Money making music is the label. Cheer. Lil Zane, like... Man, listen, you guys don't even know. Like, me and Zane been trying to just set some stuff up for, like, I'm going to put years on it. Cause it's been a while. Literally. But, yeah. you know, we, we did do this via Shea Star Radio a yeah. couple of years ago. You exactly. know, we was helping pump that new stuff you had going on. And okay. now you got more new stuff going yeah, on. So we and you got new hit, ventures. We're trying to get you a hit right now, man. No, we ain't trying to. We going to get the hey, hit. Hey, it ain't a hit till they make it a hit. So till you hit all over the radio, we're going to keep putting these records out. Until we just all over again, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man. Look, guys. Anybody who knows knows that I grew up an avid 112 fan. You know, so we're gonna have to like rewind on these folks real quick, okay? So, you know, growing up, loved 112. Definitely one of the dopest R&B groups, even today. Got a new album on the way. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them. Yeah, they got a new album. On. Yes. Um. Yeah. So that's how I was introduced to Lil Zane, probably like most of us, you know, out here. So, you know, I just want to say from watching you hit the scene, like literally hit the scene, because that was a big record, to now, you've really been out here grinding. I don't do the gossip thing. I go straight to the horse's mouth. So you can let these folks know what's really going on. Okay. Does it bother you when people say Lil Zane from the 112 song? When people say Lil Zane from the 112 song? Mm -hmm. Like if somebody is introducing you, you know, that's Lil Zane from, from, one, from the 112 song. Oh, no, I mean, that, that, that can't bother me because that was, that was one of my biggest hits. So, you know what I mean? I got a song on my album, 112, Calling Me. I got a song on their album. So that's where I started from. So it's just like... Thank God they, thank God they, that, that was a hit. Y'all made that a hit. So, nah, 112 is, I want, I'm big on giving it up to people that helped you. I'm big on that. Like, I'm big on loyalty. So, anybody knows me, you know that. My loyalty with 112 is like, or with anybody in that situation, back in that position that helped me. It's like, yo, that was my guys. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So, how did that feel, being a new artist, being on a song with one of the, the biggest R&B groups? Oh, it, it was it was it was a great experience. I got to go on the road with Whitney Houston, rest in peace. I got to, you know, travel the world before I even had a record deal. Before I had I had one single out traveling the world. So like, you know, they showed me a lot of things. They taught me how to be a real artist on the road. Like when you learn from some R and B cats, that's like the best to learn. Cause rappers, we just we smoking, we reckless. Like y'all know how we be, but. Artists, they were real. They are real artists, real performers. That's why they're still around now because they were actually they have a show. So they taught me that discipline. You know, Q taught me staying in the gym. Slim taught me keeping that voice right. Just you know, Mike was more the businessman. Taught me always on the business. And Deron was the magic, the the musician. So you know, it's I learned four different things from all of them. You know what I mean? So awesome. that's dope. Yeah. No, I I, I asked you that because I, I I something told me that that would be your answer. I love your sense of humility and your sense of loyalty. Like I said, I've literally grown up, you know, watching you grow in this industry, and that's why I've always been so adamant about keeping up with you because you know at the same time, you did break out with 112, but there's also a whole nother aspect to Lil Zane besides oh that was the guy that was featured on that 112 record and and that's why we're here yeah. so people can thank really you. get to know thank what you. else you have to offer to the game and what you have been offering you know to the game you know um, your visuals are always great your beats your hooks are always very catchy you know and uh, you know we finna let these folks know today okay. that you know so it's a lot more going on behind the scenes um so movies you know yes. we are in the land of film and production right now we so are. how did you you know transition from the music to the big screen well trying to transition from the music to doing movies came when i was walking down the street in new york one time and um the first movie i ever did was called finding forrester with um sean connery um, Buster, I'm sure y'all heard this story before, but um, just walking down the street, seeing the McDonald's sign, seeing a sign in McDonald's saying auditions around the corner, and I actually like went around the corner and yeah. knocked on the door, and I saw a lot, long list of people, a long line of people, walk past them, hey, I'm over at MTV next door, but I heard y'all was auditioning. <laughs> they let me right in, gave, gave, me, gave me a script on the spot, I read a couple things, they said, okay, we'll call you back, you know what I mean? So that's how it happened, so the moral of the story is just jumping 
feeling it and going with it. You know what I mean? From that, I did that movie and it was history. Like, I started getting offers for other stuff and you just catch the acting bug. You like, it's good, it's better money. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, the I, yeah, the budgets are big. I was getting them big <laughs> checks, you know what I'm saying? That's how it started. So, that and that's what made me just love acting but i kind of feel like i got so caught up in the acting that the music thing was like because the music is such a headache sometimes it's like and then I, and people don't understand i've been doing talk music it, yeah. let's talk about, yeah, it. talk about it yeah but to answer your question that's how i caught the acting yes. bug you know what i'm saying and after that it's just being around great people great actors eddie murphy i did dr doodles who with him raven simone um, yes, pe you, people don't know. I, I was, yeah, yes, in, in yeah. I was in a movie called Day in the Life that did real good with um, Omar Epps, Makai Pfeiffer, Ray J. Um, who else was in the Sticky Fingers? Did stuff with um, just a gang of people. Beyonce from Fighting Temptations. Mike Epps was in it. So a lot of these people that are big now I work with before they were even blowing up. You know what I mean? Kind of coming up at the same time with them. So that's mm -hmm. how I caught the acting bug. But um, yeah, that's the that's the question to that. That's, but move, that's, that's but awesome. moving, but yeah. moving on to everything else. But I gotta is just... say this, like the, the names that, that he just dropped, and I hope you guys are listening. These are not no like oh, those are big names, D-list, yeah. D-list, yeah. you know, actors and actresses, you know. Yeah. So it's just let you know this because we don't hear or see things, you know, and it's, it's not still a super lot going gra on. glamorized. It's still a lot going on, so. Um, so let's go back, you know, to the music. You know, I'm okay. glad that you said that because, you know, that's one reason why the Shea Star platform exists. Okay. Because, you know, sometimes our fans and our viewers can get caught up in that glitz and that glamour of exactly. the business. And it's like, oh, you know, the money, the cars, exactly. the women, and yeah. the partying. And it's just like, it all looks like we're having a super time. And they don't really they know don't what's going on. They don't realize what's going on behind the scenes, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's funny you said that, right? Wow, that's crazy you said that. <laughs> okay, I got a new song coming out. Plug, 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 plug. <laughs> so, I had a song I just came up with called um, If I Had To, right? Mm -hmm. And the concept of the song is basically like, I'll do it all again if I had to. Like, whatever I went through, the sacrifices I made, was it worth where you at right now? Would you do it all again? So, I'm like, I'll do it again if I had to. And the con what you just said is how people don't know what goes on behind the scene. The video I'm going to do, the concept, and I know somebody going to try to steal this, but the video, the concept yeah, was I'm like, the concept was showing these, showing me in the video, like, you see me at this video shoot, whatever, boom, 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 I'm balling. But then it cuts behind the camera when they say cut, you know, say I'm taking the jewelry off, and I'm giving, giving it, back it to somebody, the jeweler. I'm giving yeah. the car back to somebody. Mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. you know, from there, from there, right from there, I get in the car. And you don't know that in the car, it's like five bricks. You know what I'm saying? Like, we go to the trap spot from the... From, so I'm going to start at one point, then right from there, we go to the trap spot. We in the trap spot, show me, you know, putting guns on the table, whatever, masking up with my homeboys. We got to go hit this lick. We hit this lick, boom, boom, boom. From the lick, it's like we get out of there, boom, boom, boom. A car pick us up. When the camera pull up, the car, when you see my foot step out, I'm in a whole different... I'm in a suit now, I'm stepping out on a red carpet. It's mm -hmm. showing how people go from these entertainers, you don't know what kind of life they live in. You don't Absolutely. know, you think they balling, but as soon as they, soon as it's so over, you back to reg life, you grind it again. And that's kind of how life be for a lot of artists. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't see, you don't see basketball people, rappers, mm -hmm. uh, singers, writers, whatever. You don't see people with millions of dollars touch hundreds, $200 million, $300 million and be broke. Yeah. Right Thanks. now. This is what I be trying to tell everybody. Yeah. It's like, dude, don't get it twisted. Like, we really do this for the gram. Yo, you know what I'm gram. saying? Like, like the gram is really, really do. it's like, <laughs> like, that's like, what, like the, the new Grammy. Of. The new Grammy is being on the gram stunting. Who's gonna get the yes. Grammy today? I got a song hard. called. I got a song called "You Deserve a Grammy." It's like you deserve a Grammy the way you be stunting on the gram. You know what I mean? So I got so many different concepts for this new album called "Life I Live," but I just shared one with y'all. It's called "If I Had If I Had To." And basically, that's what it's about. It's just about, it's being real with your fans. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to sit here and tell y'all my whole life just been balling. Like, I live a better life than a lot of people live. Like, broke to me might be not what broke is to the next man, or it might be not what broke is to you. But a certain level of success, you know what it feels like when that machine yeah, is gone. Yeah, like, right now, it's like, I'm, I'm being honest. It's like, yeah, like... If you see me driving a Lamborghini, like, I probably rented it. I probably did. Like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I ain't at the point right now where I got just 20 million dollars houses. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I got a meal too, it's like, 
you can't have a ten million dollar house and have a million dollars in the bank. Yeah. Like so, I'm living by what I'm going for, but but that's what it's about. It's about life I live is basically the new album is just showing people a deeper inside of like, yeah, like. Don't get it twisted. We ain't out here broke, but at the same time, I want to show y'all the struggle. I don't want to lie to y'all and say we out here balling. We out here like life don't be a struggle. No, I got struggles too. I, I think it's a need for that yeah. because you know, especially with the younger generation, not understanding that this is really a job. This is entertainment. You know, yeah. we do this to entertain you. Yes, we love what yeah. we do, but it's a lot of hard work that has and to be like, put into like, this. And it's like. It's a job that if you you gotta wake yourself up and go. Mm -hmm. It's a job yeah. like I had to learn that because I gotta start getting money when I was young. When you're young, things come naturally to you. Mm -hmm. Like you don't even know what you're doing. You don't even know that you're doing. It's the older person that's sitting back like, "Wow, I was smart with that. With what she just did or what he just mm -hmm. did." Like we didn't know what we were doing. When we were doing it, exactly. but now it's like it's a it's a conscious effort it's a okay everything i'm doing is calculated everything i'm doing some things you flow with it before we get out of here please let everybody know where they can find you where the music is what movies to look for lay it all out right now what's up what's up it's your boy lil zane lz stunner you can catch me on twitter um lil zane's world i'm on facebook facebook lil zane um i'm on ig lil zane's world what else? Um, everything Lil Zane's world. I got a new album dropping. It's called Life I Live. It'll be out the end of this year. If you go on iTunes right now, my SoundCloud, Lil Zane's world, iTunes. I got a new record out called Two Kissing. I got a new record out called F You Right. I got a new record out called Broken Pieces. I got a lot of stuff out on iTunes right now. You can go copy it. The videos is out right now. My, my YouTube page is Lil Zane's world. You know what I'm saying? Go subscribe right now. Dropping new videos every day. I got like eight new movies dropping, 10 new movies dropping this year. The movie I'm pushing right now that's out, we got When Love Kills. You might have caught me in that with Mayweather, Lil Mama, Lance Grove. Shout out to them. Um, I got a movie in theaters right now called Love by Chance. It's in AMC Theaters. Movie coming out in theaters on, on Christmas. It's called Culture Clash. Um, and I'm doing a movie right now, currently shooting, called um, The Streets Ain't For Everybody. And a movie right now, too, called Flip the Script that I got Mac Boney in it. I got um, L.A. Truth. Who else is in it? It's um, Shout out to L.A. Truth. Who else is in it? Um, Jeff Sherry from MMG. Um, myself. Um, we got a gang of people in there that y'all gonna love. So I'm constantly working, constantly moving. Hit me up, Lil Zane's World on IG. Snapchat, Lil Zane's World. Can't forget to snap. You know what I mean? And we turning up, man. We turning up, y'all. And I like what you say. Hey, first of all, thank y'all for y'all time. It's always going to stay humble. But straight up, hit, hit, come listen to this music. Come see these movies. Your boy's still moving. And, um, you know, I love you, Shay, for just inviting Absolutely, me on the show. Yeah. This is so dope. And, um, yo, just follow me. You know what I mean? I'm the livest. You know, I'm like, I'm me and Shay, like, brother and sis. Like, we like, live. Dude. Ain't nobody live. No. Y'all just got the real. <laughs> Y'all got the real. I don't want the, I, I want the interview to still be fun, but I try to make it informative. Yeah, I try absolutely. to make it real. Because yep. a lot of people is out here fronting. Don't let them. They fronting. You know what I'm saying? They fronting. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't running around doing what they say they doing. <laughs> Except for us. Because one thing, one thing, I'm doing what I say I'm doing. If yes. I say I'm doing a movie, I post it. If I say I got a new single, I post it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I've never been the type to be out here showboating money, a million dollars in my hand. Like, if I got $20 million, you would never know. Trust me. I promise you. You know what I mean? So it's just about that. So focus on the music. Focus on your life. God, I love y'all. Follow me. Hit me up, man. Thug life all the way. R.I.P. Pop. You know what it is, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that way. Yeah. Lil Zane, man. We freaking love you. You already love know, you man. Too, For real. Off, always I off the top. Too. Like, I got you. So, you know, we here. Yes. We're we going to keep building. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because yes. we're in the building right yes. now. And we're going to continue to build. And this yeah. going to be the last time that we hear from or see this guy right here. So, you know, make sure y'all check him out. ASAP. Fast. Lil Zane. Shea Star. You already know. Appreciate y'all. Peace. Y'all fucked up. And let you read a real nigga that ain't never really give a fuck. But since I got love for you, I'm just cool being your side nigga, man. Girl, I know you got.